Welcome to another video. Real quick, if you guys missed the last video, or if you're new here, we're giving away some things. If you guys want to buy a shirt like this, it matches our wall. Trevor's got the dark blue one on. Got the white one on, we also have a black one. Giving away a 2015 Plus STI intake. We've got a sick leather bag that I use all the time. That Soul Guard sent out. We have a dash cam. We have a intake cover for a 350Z. And that's it as of right now. If you guys want to order a shirt, karmaspeed.com, I'd really appreciate it because we're getting rid of the last 20 or so shirts. But on to today's project. We have the 350Z duck bill that needs to get molded. So basically, we did this a while back and it's been looking bunk for a while, but we knew we'd get to it. So here's the plan. We are going to glue it on basically with some really crazy epoxy from 3M. And then, so take, take it off, sand off the paint, and then put it back on with glue, holding it on. We put the screws back in, we let it sit overnight. And then tomorrow we can start molding it with Bondo and things like that. So we make this rep duck, or this rep rocket bunny duck bill, try and maybe make it look like an actual one and then have it molded into the trunk. So when we do wrap the car, it'll look perfect. By the way, I didn't really get to mention in the other video, when we put the dual caliber bracket on, it actually pushed the wheel out and so the fitment is like really crazy now. And it doesn't seem to be an issue yet with this tire size. And then the bumper got eaten alive by the exhaust, finally. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave the duck bill in the sun so it's extra flexible. And these are where the rib nuts are that we were talking about. I'll leave the link in the description to the install video we did on this so you understand what rib nuts are if you don't. I went to Ace Hardware and bought some I bought a sanding pad and then we bought I looked it up online what they what you know body shops do. So I have 400 grit and we have 180 grit so we'll hit it with 180 and then we'll hit it with 400 and that should get us through the paint to the body or at least the primer and that's what we can stick the epoxy to <laughs> We put the bolts back in here so we don't have any issues with uh, sand or dust getting in there. Oh, there we go. That's okay. right. We just made it through. Trevor just grabbed 100 grit because this is more than we thought. Is 100 grit better? Yeah, it cuts a little faster. Working on the bottom now. We nicked the tail light over here with the sandpaper, which was an amateur move, so Trevor taped the whole car off, so I recommend you guys doing that before you start. But still just making progress by hand, using the 100 grit. Not sure if that's the best thing, but it's not doing anything crazy to the metal, so we're gonna follow up with some lighter sandpaper when we're done with this. So it's a lot more work than you think. Trevor's about to, uh, it already is just drenched in sweat. I'm drenched in sweat. We've been going ham on this thing for a minute and it's looking pretty good. We're gonna switch over to the more fine grit, smooth it out, and then we'll clean it and prep it for glue. It's the 400 grit and it feels as smooth as a baby's bottom about. Like it's Really, really smooth, more than you'd think. So we're gonna go ahead and prep this with rubbing alcohol and then clean her up and get the tape and we're gonna send it. We're just doing a alcohol wipe after a degreaser wipe. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the inside of the duckbill. What we are working with is 3M panel bonding adhesive. I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon where we got it from, this is a two there's two parts to this, and then they bond and create a crazy adhesion, so. Look at that crazy straw. Yeah, look at that. 
Alright, so we don't have a panel bond adhesive gun. I'm going to leave a link in the description to one. But Trevor's using two sockets underneath to get it to come out. The glue process is done. Things we learned right off the bat. We need a panel bond gun. I'm gonna link, leave a link in the description for that. So you buy the 3M adhesive panel bond, but then you need the gun to do it properly. Trevor took two large sockets, pressed them out, about killed himself. As you guys saw, he almost pooped his pants. And then, so first things, we know that glue's in a hold. We didn't put as much as we could have because Trevor about pooped his pants. So if you look right here, there's a gap right there you'll see in the body. That's just because it's a crappy bill. But in the corner, I see glue coming out, so that's good. So we know that corner will hold. This is like apparently the stickiest of the stickiest stuff you can get. So we hope that even with a crappy mount, that it'll still hold just enough. And then we'll do Bondo over all this. So we're gonna let this dry. Another thing I would have done differently is see on this one right here, we put two nuts. So if you think about it, we're not using the screws to hold this on anymore. We're using the glue to hold it on. So it's like, well, why do we need to... The, the screws are just a clamp. The screws at this point are just a clamp. Originally, the idea was to have the look with the screws, like a wide body kit, but it looked just way too dramatic. So we want to mold it with the stock body right now. So we used on this one to make it work since this rib nut was, threat, was stripped or you know cross threading we took two nuts put it in there but if i were to do it again if we did it on trevor's car or if you guys do it on your car just get a bunch of washers and tighten these up till it snugs it on to hold it on so that glue you know is in between the duck bill and the metal so don't feel like you have to do it this way i would use washers if that makes sense on all these to hold it down even better and you don't have to snug these bolts up other than that um we'll find out tomorrow how well it holds because we're just gonna pull them out and then tug on it, hopefully it's okay. And then we're gonna do Bondo over all this and I have two types of Bondo to use to make it look good. And then after that, we're gonna primer the whole thing and then we can wrap it after that. So thank you guys so much for watching part one. Don't forget, you can get one of these shirts on karmaspeed.com. We only have a few left. We'd really like if you check it out. I'm giving away a couple things if you guys haven't seen the last videos, uh, go check them out. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.